are going to be working on a Halloween fall. Let me actually put you right here. Um, a Halloween fall inspired care package. Um, so it is October, oh, what is this? October 7th, and I'm just filming this today. Let's ignore my shirt because I got a stain on it, but I don't feel like changing it because I have like 20 minutes to film this. Um, but I have a care package that I've been sending out to Cameron. I was just waiting on a phone charger because Cameron said that his phone charger is starting to crap the bed, so he asked me to get a new one for him. So I ordered one on Amazon and it came in. I was supposed to do it yesterday because it came yesterday, um, but I forgot. Yesterday I was actually watching my friend's son, um, so I definitely couldn't do it yesterday because three kids under three, that just wasn't happening. But I'm gonna quickly show you guys kind of what I have for this package and kind of my idea. Um, I only realized I only have two sheets of construction paper, orange construction paper, um, because um, I use I use the rest of it for my son. So we're gonna try to do our best. Um, I only really wanna cover the flaps, so. Really? <laughs> so we'll see. Um, so for this package, I actually just have some of these kind oats and honey with toasted coconut. These are chewy with a crunch. They're just like little granola bars. Um, I got these and I thought they would be a really good um, little snack. Um, I got some more of these um, Kodiak cakes, flapjack. Oh my goodness. I have my nine month old right here next to me and clearly he's very vocal. Um, but I'm trying to do this while my toddler naps because he would just be all in this right now. Um, but yeah, I have these Kodiak cakes. This is in the blueberry maple and then this one's in cinnamon maple. I have three of these. Yeah, I got two blueberry. He really likes these, um, so I got these for him. They're a little pricey, but I mean, whatever. It's worth it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put the food over there just to get out of the way. I did get a little Halloween card. Um, so it says missing you on Halloween. We actually just sent Cameron a Halloween card that Landon made um, probably like a week ago. So he has that one, but this is just gonna be an overall box. Um, I found this hungry, no, I think these are hungry helper. It says helper mac and cheese, um, bold cheesy pizza. I don't know. It's kind of like mac and cheese, but it's like bigger. I don't know guys. I'm trying different things, okay? Um, I got these cinnamon churro um, mini rice cakes. This is from Simple Truth. Cameron actually really likes these ones, and I know he eats these in like one sitting. So uh, I got those. Um, I found this at the Dollar Tree, and I bought one for myself, and I ate it so quickly because they're so good. Um, these are crispy coconut rolls. Um, it's made with real coconut milk plus roasted black sesame seeds. <laughs> this kid. Um, it just looks like this. Um, these are so good guys if you can find them at the Dollar Tree pick them up and try them um, If you like coconut, you'll definitely like those. They're so so good um, So I got some of these whoa um, So I got some of these ranch uh, sunflower seeds Cameron really likes these so I just got those um, and So I actually wasn't going to be doing this package because he's supposed to be home for Halloween, but Things did not go to our favor, and he's gonna be there a little bit longer. <laughs> you wanna say hi? Say hi. Say hi. His morning nap was a little late, so that's why he's not napping right now. Um, but I'm trying to get this video filmed quickly before a toddler wakes up, and so that way I can still work and put some food in the crock pot. So we got a lot to do today. I got another one of these kind bars from over there. Um, I got some of these tuna packets. Cameron actually. I'm shocked that he likes these because he's actually not a huge tuna person, but I guess he got these at the commissary, or not the commissary, the BX over there. And he really likes them, so I got more. Two lemon pepper, which he says he likes. Um, two of the buffalo, hot buffalo style, which I sent these to him a couple times now, I think. And he said he really likes those ones, so I got those. And then I am trying the ranch one. I don't know. He likes ranch, so I'm thinking maybe he'll like it. Whoa. Another one of these kind bars. Um, so I got him some of these like fall little Debbie the fall cakes. I had more, but um, my toddler decided to get into the box and start smushing a lot of them. So I'm not gonna send him smushed 
cakes. So got those. Um, I have two of these little fall, these are like the pumpkin pie cake things. I don't know. I got two of those. Um, I got him a little charger. This is just from the Amazon Basics iPhone charger. And then I also have some of just these. Where are they? Whoa. Um, and I also have just some of these Oreo minis in golden and then the regular ones. Um, this is a box of 20, but I have half of them for us and then also to give out to some kids for Halloween. Um, but I'm going to throw some of those in there too. So I'm also, I also have two of these Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee beverages. If you don't know my husband, he's obsessed with Dunkin' Donuts. Um, and so I kind of wanted to get those for him. Those are in French vanilla. Um, and I kind of wanted to get those for him as like a little... You're almost home, you're at the final stretch, you can have real Dunkin' for once, so, um, yeah. And then I also have a huge bucket of candy. Um, I actually have, my goodness, these little trick or treat bags. Um, and I'm gonna fill some of them up with candy. Um, and so that way, if he wants to give it to anyone, he can. And then I'm also just gonna kind of fill whatever else in there with candy too. So, we have a lot. Hoping I get most of this done. I also have some of these little like Halloween bags. I'm gonna put some stuff in there. Um, I have some fall leaves that I'm gonna kind of place in there too. Um, and then I also have these, they're my toddlers, um, but they're little like foam stickers. Um, the pumpkin ghost cat, I'm gonna kind of decorate the box with those too. Yeah, um, so let's get started you guys. First things first is I need to actually, um, take down this box, but I'm just not going to. Um, I'll do it later. I thought I was gonna be sending him a lot more of these, and I honestly, I probably sent him two, four, it's probably like six of them so far. I thought I was gonna do more, but honestly, a lot of the times I just kind of throw them in there just because it's just kind of hard to decorate them, um, especially when you have kids and stuff, and I just don't have much time. So I'm going to just take a glue stick. I'm just gonna glue this cardboard. So, babe, if you're watching this, click out of this. Stop being nosy. Stop being nosy. So, I know one thing too. My boxes take about 10 days from the day that it um, hits. Usually about 10 days from when I drop it off at the post office. It's usually about when he gets it. Um, so, I know I was talking to my friend who was just here over, um, a couple days ago. And she's saying that it, her packages take like a month. Um, but her husband is in a different location. So where my hubby is right now, it takes about 10 days, which is actually surprising. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do this. <sighs> I'm trying to think, trying to think. I have these. Ooh, there's orange in here. Maybe, do they block in here?
So, not the cutest job, but I mean, at least you open it up and you see it. I'm thinking since this bag is kind of all like ruined, I think I wanna... I think I wanna like cut strips and kind of make like a border on, on the sides of them. Maybe on the top and bottom if I can, but definitely on the sides. Or maybe on, maybe on these ones that have kind of like the messed up orange. I'll do it on, only on those ones. I don't know yet. We'll see. That would be cute, right? See, this spray adhesive works better than this one, but I think it looks kind of cute. Maybe I'll do like two sides, like Halloween-ish, and then the other two sides can be like the fall stuff. I don't know, we'll see. That looks cute. Oh, I think that looks perfect. I may try to hot glue these afterwards, but I think they look pretty cute for now. I'm thinking I'm going to put, maybe I should just get my hot glue gun because I don't feel like these are probably gonna pop off too. Let me get my hot glue gun. I have my, ooh. <coughs> my house is like a mess right now. Um, so I have my hot glue gun. It's, it's not working right now. Um, so I'm gonna kind of lift these up and just kind of put a little glue behind it. I know this way I know that they're more secure and they're not gonna go anywhere um, so while I was downstairs I actually found some of this washi tape and this one is like a gold and white um, and I think I'm going to place this on the sides of like where the leaves are to kind of make it like a little bit more fall take my little ghosts and I'm going to super glue or hot glue him over here. I have an idea. I'm going to put this here and then over here I'm going to write, hey boo. I have these cute little glittery pumpkins and I think I'm going to put it where the fall stuff is. And Landon's little crafting, so you have these like googly eyes. So I think I'm gonna give the ghost some googly eyes and then also the fat. So I have these little letters that I'm gonna see if I can make hey boo with it, or maybe at least boo. Let's see. Maybe not. Hey, maybe I'll write out hey, but I have boo like this.
Oh, I forgot. So I also have these stickers. So I think it looks so cute. So over here it just says, hey boo. It has a little, oh, I forgot the ghost smell. Ooh, <laughs> hey boo. Um, and then over here is just some leaves. And then we have just like the bat. Wow, this looks like a toddler did it, but that's okay. It has the bat. Um, and some stickers, and then the leaves with the pumpkin. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this up. How my box ended up turning out. I think it looks so stinking cute. I ended up throwing these things in here. These are actually ones that Landon made um, a while ago, so I just kind of threw them on top. Um, and I kind of forgot to fit these in, so I just laid them on top, so it's not as cute anymore. Um, but I'll insert a photo. I think it looks so cute, you guys. I'm like really happy with it. I mean, I think he'll enjoy it, um, and I think he'll appreciate it. And I mean, do I think you should do a fancy care package every time? No. But it is nice just to give them something a little bit more than the normal. Because um, it does show, uh, it does show that you put in that extra work for them. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this probably online. I'm gonna try to. Um, if my scale works, I'll try to just do it online. If not, I will just go in tomorrow morning and bring it in and hopefully he'll get it in 10 days. So I hope you guys enjoy this little care package video if you did give it a thumbs up if you're watching this and your spouse is deployed or whoever you're making a care package for is um comment down below let me know let me know what you throw into your care packages kind of how you dress yours up and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video um don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye